Welcome back. Chris Carney and his mother are spending some extra time together after they thought they might never see each other again. Yeah, Carney was lost at sea in the Pacific Ocean for 10 days on a sailboat with a broken sail and no way to communicate. He tells us his story in his own words. I like the feeling of being on a boat because you're in control and, and just using nature. And from Himeji to Honolulu is about 3,500 miles. If you average five knots, it's going to take about 35 days or so. We were anticipating maybe a 30-day trip. When he first told me about the trip, I begged him not to do it. I said, that's too long, too far, there's no islands. We'd been through heavier stuff on the same trip than when we encountered the problem. If the boat goes over a big wave and nothing's under the boat and bam, slams down pretty hard. The next bang happened and, and I stick my head up and the mast and the rigging's all in the water. And all of a sudden, this rogue wave threw us out of the water and we were just all flying in the boat and psh, landed upside down and smashed, smashed everything. Everything's all upside down. What was used to be the ceiling is now the floor and the water's coming up. It was pretty eerie. And the boat got the keels on top, supposed to right itself, but it didn't immediately. We were without sail and without power, without engine, and all our um, electronics were destroyed. Three weeks, we hadn't seen a ship nor had we seen an airplane. So we weren't confident that we were going to see anything. I've been actually frantic since the 25th of November, but more since I found out that they were, didn't call in. We rigged up some makeshift sails from some of the sun, from the bimini top. Uh, we were downstairs again, two guys were downstairs, and we were rationing the water, counting how many fresh water bottles we had. And the guy up on top was screaming, ship, ship. We ripped the mirrors off the, the head and uh, his cabinets and were flashing the mirrors at the, the ship. Tremendous relief. I got a text message from the Coast Guard saying, we found them, they're alive. It was a joyous moment. And letting them know that we're, we're all safe must have been a, a bigger relief to them than it was to us. I'll be sailing again. Maybe do a delivery from Japan to Taiwan or sail to the Philippines or something. But soon enough, yeah. How about that? He's determined to get out there again. He says that his biggest fear uh, during that entire ordeal uh, while they were afloat was that he would run out of fresh water and he would die of thirst. That's what he was worrying about. You can't imagine, though, how scary that must yeah. have been. And then to maintain hope, that's the more incredible thing. How do you even maintain it? I guess there was no other choice out there, yeah. right? So good on him. Sail. Yeah. <laughs> Glad that uh, he survived to tell us about it. Mm -hmm. Final look at the weather here. Uh, we got